Can't be that hard. As long, uh, as, it, as, long as it doesn't involve typing. Right. Uh, <laughs> reminder to people watching the live, go to haircoreinthemore.com to get the audio. <laughs> Haircore. <laughs> and more. Good morning, Harry. Good morning, Corey. <laughs> How'd you sleep? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, because it's funny. When you go to bed, I mean, it's over, right? Yeah. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a go-to-bed <laughs> ritual where you go to bed at night? And, like, not, not things that you do in order before you get into bed, but maybe, maybe games that you play when you're in bed? No, I can't. I can't do that. I, I'm, I'm actually a horrible sleeper. Uh, and you ruined me actually years ago. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you, you, uh, I never, li- I never had anything on when I was younger. I, I didn't have it, the television on or music playing when I went to sleep. I couldn't sleep with stuff. I had to sleep in silence. And then I started hanging out with you, and there'd be a few nights we'd be out, passed out somewhere together. You'd turn on an album and fall asleep to it, or or whatnot. Now I have to have the TV on to fall asleep. Oh my God, I did ruin you. You know I don't do that anymore. No, Not, I do the way. Well, I, the way the other way because I learned that the only way to get a really good night's sleep is one, uh, almost absolute silence. Two, mm-hmm. as dark as you can possibly get a room. And three, the temperature oh, yeah. has to be nice and cool. Yes. So I sleep basically in a cave now. Well, I try to. I've got it dark. I've got it dark and uh, I've got it uh, nice and cold. I'm in the basement, mm-hmm. um, the dungeon. Yep. But uh, no, I usually, I usually uh, have to pass out to the television now, and I got a timer, so it goes off. You know, I set it for thirty minutes or sure. whatnot. Yeah. So you're not like sleeping with the TV on. No. Right. No, that would drive me bonkers. Well, now I got this thing where, well, it's not a new. I mean, I've been doing this since I was probably eight. Uh, where there's there's a couple of characters that I pretend that I am when when I go to bed. <laughs> really? Yeah. For example, this sounds interesting. One of them was, uh, and still is. I like to pretend that I am a an, an all powerful uh, like warrior that has you know telekinetic abilities uh, in addition to other superpowers, and I have been uh, trapped or imprisoned in this room by the U.S. government. Okay. And in this room is a bed and, you know, it's a bedroom basically, but it's, it's my prison. They keep me in there contained because if I get out, you know, I'm kind of unpredictable. I could wreak havoc, <laughs> but within this room, You're such a geek. <laughs> within this room, I do have the ability, uh, unless, well, here's how they keep me kind of suppressed. Like I could, like I could choke somebody out from the other side of the glass, you know. Like, like I could totally use the force. Oh, you, you have that uh, invisible uh, uh, force. <laughs> yeah, but how they contain me is they they constantly flood the room with like this neurotoxin that it doesn't kill me because they can't kill me because I could hold my breath indefinitely. What what they're able to do though is it kind of it goes through my skin and it just keeps me sort of at bay. You know what I mean? So there's there's that guy yeah. when I go to bed. Makes makes it easy. jokes aren't funny. Period. <laughs> no. So am I? You don't have such ca- a dickhead. You don't have sleep characters. No, I don't. Hmm. Okay. Well, I do. There's, there's another one where I'm a I'm a dragon, but that's that's another podcast. Really. News. This in. This just in. Energizer, Energizer Bunny arrested, charged with battery. <laughs> are you, <laughs> you going to do like old man jokes every episode? Is that your plan? <laughs> it's like you're going to find jokes that you know, <laughs> mom and dad would I find funny. You, I want to be a new pornographer. <laughs> <sighs> is this the show? Is this what people tune in for? This is the show. This is this is the fucking show right here. Right, just like this. This is what people want every single week <laughs> is to get a dose of I don't know what this. the fuck they want. This is the show. Yeah. All right. <laughs> have you have you have you heard what the trailer park boys are doing? I, I didn't know uh, that they're still a program. It's not a program, but they're still doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so Bubbles just got off tour with Guns N' Roses, for Christ's sakes. He was on the road for two, two, three months. Well, who's Guns N' Roses? How is that? Oh, is it Slash? With That's the, Axel. It's That's Axel. Axel. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, yeah. it's Axel with a bunch of people. Yep. So it's Axel Rose. But, but uh, these, 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 the Trailer Park Boys, they, they were on uh, Strombo the other night, George Strompolopoulos. Mm. And uh, they, they got a, they're coming... <laughs> You got a broadcast network, or it's called Swear.net. Swear, like as in cursing? Yes, that's that. Every all the shows they have to curse. <laughs> they have to. Bubbles wants to start a home home renovation show called "This Is My Fucked Up House." <laughs> Are you sure it's Swear.net? Because I'm on Swear.net, and that's not it. Swearnet. Swearnet. Oh, it's just Swearnet. Try Swearnet. All right, Swearnet. 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 Googling SwearNet. Welcome to SwearNet.com, you fuckers. It's weird. <laughs> okay, I'm getting the idea here. Ah, oh, interesting. Well, this is fun. They got all these little buttons to push and everything. Big red, big fucking red button, big fucking green button. I should wear, oh, I should warn people that we swear on the show. You guys were awesome <laughs> sending in your videos about Pat, so we cut uh, a little yeah, reel hi together. Uh, this is Jay Baruchel, and uh, I'm just curious, uh, Pat, uh, have you always been this much of a fuckhead or <laughs> Okay, I'm kinda getting the idea. <laughs> hey, what do we got what do we got here for tunes real quick, bro? Oh, what do we got for tunes yeah. tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna continue my little uh journey through the concept record and I'm gonna call this the peak of the concept record with three songs here. Uh, off the Queensryche album Promised Land, and we'll start with Disconnected, followed by Lady Jane and My Global Mind. Nice. Nice. Yep. What do you want? The, the best you've got. It's the what best the of what's their faces. There's a good example of poor programming. I do apologize. I just I went to that website and it's one of those websites that makes noise when you go to it. Right. I hate those. I wondered what the fuck was going on. I'm like, that's Jay Baruchel. Hi, I'm Jay Baruchel. <laughs> I don't understand why. I don't. I don't know why sites still do that nowadays. It's just. It's silly. I concur. You know who's the worst for it? Jazz musicians. Jazz musicians do that all the time. It's like, oh, welcome oh. to my big site with my jazz song playing immediately. Annoying. <laughs> I'm just watching the commercial off of Ustream here. It's a Chevy commercial. Oh. You shouldn't be able to do that with a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so, really? so excited. Because? Oh, I start, I fired up Gran Turismo 5 again last night for the first time in like I don't know how long mm. and I thought I'd check I thought I'd check the dealerships and guess what I've got in the garage at Chevrolet <laughs> mm. 2014 Corvette Stingray oh nice wow 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 I love this game <laughs> shall we roll sure buddy sure. you're driving in your car or perhaps sipping your cup oh. of joe it's another typical morning, coffee. but something is different. You hear a sound unlike one you've ever I heard before. Tea. You realize that you <laughs> may too. have stumbled upon the greatest audio discovery since the dawn of mankind. Dawn of mankind. You realize that you're in. <laughs> Aragorn! <laughs> in the morning. Hello? Like, shut up, lady. I, I, shut up, lady. <laughs> Probably. I, I, I didn't like my beard at first. Then it grew on me. Mm. So now, basically, you're like Red Skelton. That's what you are. <laughs> you know? that, take my wife, please. Yeah. Take my wife. <laughs> are, you know, I. You should be one of those comics. Just a bunch of one-liners that were funny in the fifties. <laughs> I like telling stories better. With like a climax or a story that doesn't go anywhere, because you strike me as the kind of guy who who would get you into a story. And then, you know, somewhere near the end, you, can, you start to realize this isn't going to have a, like a grand finale. It's not going to end funnily. Well, there's a reason why I'm not doing that, because that's part of it. But it's usually what happens is the stories are so long, and there's so many sub-veins to it that <laughs> get off, sidetracked off on another vein of the story, and I forget, what, forget where the punchline was supposed to come in. Kind of like Bill Cosby. You're like a, a white, hairy Bill Cosby. <laughs> sort of drifting around through life. I wish I could do girl pudding pop. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a we should we we need to do a couple things here. Um, we we have to direct people towards our our internet uh, sites. 
Yes, absolutely. Come we, on down. We, I want to crack 100 likes this week on Haircore and the More. That would be nice on our Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because you know what? There's yeah. a lot of stuff that we, like us. we put things on the Facebook page that are good. Yes, and you can't find them anywhere else. That's it. We we uh, we do all the internet digging for you, and just and just serve it to you in, in one stop shopping. Yep, it's kind of nice. Well, by and scroll. Like I just put a bunch of pictures of you and me on there. <laughs> yeah, you did. I did. Have you looked? Where'd you find those? We haven't had pictures in years of us together. Well, we're all over the internet. We look different, but there's some good ones. We on do. There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, just let me go take a look here. You got some pictures of me up here. I've well, never seen anything. You, Nobody passed this by my management. <laughs> we kind of look like two happy seals on the beach. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I like the I dog. See a and reindeer the, and a snowman here. The dog and the goat is the best. <laughs> dog and a goat. What's Okay. Who's? I got a question. Who's the snowman and who's the reindeer? I think I'm the reindeer. You're the reindeer? You don't think so? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking you. You look like you just broke just, my neck, too. <laughs> it kind of does, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I, oh, you, you got to love this. The one right after it, I love it. It's uh, it's, uh, uh Buscemi, not, not Buscemi, sorry, uh, Belushi and uh, uh, Ackroyd. Pretty classic. Haircoreinthemore.com. Like and then you can get to our Facebook page. Pretty, pretty big deal. You got to grow a mustache. You think so? You think I should grow like a... <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I hate mustaches. Why? <laughs> on their own. <laughs> you do? You do? Well, no, I, mean, I hate them on their own. Yeah. What if you're like Tom Selleck, though, or Burt Reynolds or something? Yeah, but that was the 70s, man. Mm, they That's still have okay. mustaches. Mm, I think there's a I lot of... There's, there's men who can pull it off. That was gross. I guess I guess that's it's more the more of that than anything, right? Most people I don't know. I I <laughs> I look like a Mexican if I just grow a mustache. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you look Mexican. <laughs> you haven't seen me with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Mexicans typically have like sort of a penciled in, you know, not really a full on mustache because that's that's no what, no you see. That's what started to happen to me in like grade eight or grade nine. I started getting that little. You did little have it. You were a mustache guy in grade eight, weren't you? <laughs> what do they call it? Wasn't it? That, well, nah, it wasn't really bad till grade nine. Peach, and then I started shaving in grade nine. Peach Fuzz Henderson. That's that's what they call you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Floyd. <laughs> yeah, I know. You want to do a segment? Sure. Okay, all right. Please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Oh, hey! Welcome back to another edition of Hair Corn the More. We're gonna play with us the tune. One of my favorite games, we're gonna play with us the tune. Gonna read the lyrics of the internet. He's gonna guess the name of the song. Nobody on the road. Nobody on the beach. Oh, oh, whoa, stop. Stop. This would be Don Henley, uh, Boys of Summer. God damn it. That's like two lines. Two lines. <laughs> I thought for sure I can dramatically read it in a way that you can't get it. At least not within the first two lines. I love that song. I hate this game. That that takes me right into one of my seg or one of my topics for tonight. All right, go for it. I was I've been I've been downloading a lot of music from my youth. You know, like one hit wonder stuff, like uh, for example, uh, that one. And and what about remember this one, uh, Life in a Northern Town? Mm, whoa, whoa, whoa. By who? By, uh, fuck, I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now. Shit. Um, what's their name? Uh, Don't think about it. You won't get it if you think about it. Well, I'm going into my iTunes. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Is it a Canadian yes, band? Yes, 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 they are. Um, the Dream Academy. Dream Academy? Definitely a one-hit wonder. You want to hear a little flavor of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, do this. Just just put it in the Dropbox after the show, and I'll play it on the... On okay. The, on the, on the, yeah, okay, right. so go on. Poppin. So, you, <laughs> so you're listening to songs of your youth. Yeah, yeah, and and well, that was one of them, and and I was just gonna ask you, what what like 
remember songs that before you were like, how do I say it? Uh, musically inclined. Um, when when you're a young lad and you hadn't really made music a big part of your life, and you you know stuff songs you'd hear when you're up at the cottage or something, for oh, example. Yeah, I really like this question. I really like this question. You know, yeah, right. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Give me, give me some of that stuff. Give me some of that stuff. Like any songs that pop into your mind? Sure. I mean, well, anything by Honeymoon Suite. Okay. We can, we... par- that's what your parents listened to on the. AM FM radio at well, the lake? I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't start playing music or get into music until I was about uh, 11 or 12. Yeah, so I'm talking about prior to that. Yeah, Honeymoon Suite. Like stuff you just chance to hear. You're in the car when you're a oh, kid. Oh, oh. It struck a nerve. You mean like uh, Woman in Love by Barbara Streisand? Really? Yeah, yeah. I can't even think how that goes. I might be... I'm. <laughs> I might be gay. <laughs> you know, I've, I've just kind of, remember everybody. He said it. <laughs> I kind of been looking at it lately, and it's it's starting to add up. <laughs> you know, live alone, neat, exercise, <laughs> eat well. You know, <laughs> Barbara Streisand. I still love you just the same, but don't yeah. touch me. <laughs> so yeah, I, just, I guess. Uh, well, I guess this is my coming out party. <laughs> Well, okay, then here's one for you, one I remember, because my sisters and I used to make, you know, like uh, sheet forts or, or, or whatnot, right, in the yes, basement. Yes, yes. And, and I stole one of my parents, uh, well, I didn't steal it, but I borrowed one of their little uh, handheld portable radios, right? Mm-hmm. So we surf the dial till you find some music. Uh, and uh, I, what about Wham? Wake me up before oh, you go. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, God, that's good. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, Any um, others you, come to mind to you? Yeah, for sure. I I had the uh, the wrestling record <laughs> with. <laughs> I am a real American. American. Yeah, I have that. I love that <laughs> tune. Uh, we actually played that when we were in public school. <laughs> Yeah, so anything off the wrestling record, that, that was pretty awesome. But there was, you know, there was one thing that I used to listen to quite a bit when I was a kid. Um, and it was, it was a Sesame Street record. But oh, I had was, that one. There was a couple songs on there um, that really just kind of stuck in my brain, you know. Rubber ducky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, of course, and doing the pigeon. That's a classic. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you can't overlook that one that's the uh, la di da di dum la di da di dum what's the name of that song? <laughs> you know? oh, you're really scratching an old itch here for me. Yeah. I, I might, oh, that, that's an old, old record. In uh, my I, house. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So <laughs> go ahead and enjoy that tonight in the tub. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> I like this topic. Why don't we do your segment? I'd like to stay on this topic, though. All right. All right. Let's, 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 let's do my segment. See if I can do a voiceover of my own fucking song. All right. <laughs> I, turn it turn it down in the feed so I don't have to actually hear what's going on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time now for Harry to ask Corey to guess the lyrics. Don't touch me. Uh-huh. Get a fight if it doesn't. Wrong, 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 wrong. Oh. Don, you douchebags. Let's hear Harry do <laughs> the sweet, sweet impersonation. Not yet. I'm not doing anything I don't want to. Fuck you. I don't right. care what you say. <laughs> I'm going to let you do that again. Because <laughs> you were breaking up through the whole thing. Oh, was I? Yeah, but well, that's fine. What I'm going to do like, here. Like hitting, was I too loud? or? I don't know. I'm going to just mute the, the feed, and I'm just going to count you in. You ready? Okay. All right, so yeah, yep. you're not going to know what's going on. You're just doing a voiceover <laughs> over something. That's my favorite part of radio. Ready? My own fucking yep. song. All right. Three, two, one.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is time now for Hair Core in the More to present Harry's Not So Queen Queen. Guess the lyrics to Corey. He's going to read the lyrics as the Not So Queen Queen to Corey, and Corey has to guess what the fucking song is, or else it's bad. <laughs> very, very bad. <laughs> All right, without any further ado, let's get on with it. Come here, you bitty old bit. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> Probably more music going, but I've got nothing else to say. <laughs> Just get real tape anyway. This wow, is the kind of fun know. we have. <laughs> Gotta make a drink. I feel like you prepared more this time. <laughs> <laughs> you do, do yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> or a big one this time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. What are we? What are we doing here? I'm just waiting for you to start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the the guess the lyrics? Yeah. Okay. Well, I was born an original sinner. I was born from original sin. Stop. Now, I don't know if you just start <laughs> every song with Will. Because it's the queen, not so queen, queen. Or if every song no, starts the with lyric. Me. That's oh. the lyric. What was the lyric? Okay, carry it's on. Written. And if I had a dollar bill for all the things I've done. Oh, shit. Stop. God. Oh, man. That's mean. Uh, is it? Yeah, a little bit. Because I know this. <laughs> Okay, carry on. There'd be a mountain of money piled up to my chin. Mm. My mother told me good. My mother told me strong. She said, be true to yourself and you can't go wrong. <sighs> ah, this is just one thing that you must understand. You can fool with your brother, but you don't mess with. Beep, beep. Title. <laughs> what? The Hoochie Coochie Man? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Skipping chorus. <laughs> well, the. <laughs> <laughs> He's got. God on his side. He's got the saints and the apostles backing up from behind. Black eyed looks from those Bible books. He's a man with a mission. Got a serious mind. Now I'm now you're losing me. Am I? Yeah, because then you had me and now I'm lost. <laughs> It might be. It, well, it was. It was a hit, but it, it was one of the later hits, and it is um, from the Isles. Mm hmm. Yeah, and just bruh. bruh. I'm channeling. Ah, carry on. Where did I stop? Okay. <laughs> Black-eyed looks from those Bible books. He's a man with a mission. Got a serious mind. There was a woman in the jungle and a monkey on a tree. What? Uh, who? Who? <laughs> he was fooling, following me. <laughs> Is this the, okay? So the who? Who? It's got to be the devil, that's, that's, right? That's the title. That's the title. The title. The title is the is what you're who whoing, right? 
Yeah. So <laughs> it's got to be the devil, right? The devil. The devil. <laughs> Is it the devil? Nope. Yes. Nope. No. Nope. Well, who's follow, who follows people with a monkey on a tray? The a tree. Monkey. It's in a tree or on a tray. It's in a tree. Oh, monkey on a tray. <laughs> That's what yeah. I heard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, who, 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 he was following me. He said, "Stop what you're doing. Get down upon your knees. I've got a message for you that you better believe." Repeat chorus. Oh man, I give I give up, dude. I give up. Sorry, I, I might I might have went a little outside this time. Mm. That would be the rhythmics missionary man. Oh, I have no idea what that is. You don't know. You never heard the missionary man when you were a kid on AM, uh, AM FM radio? I don't think so. The, like the, no. I don't think so. Yeah, you must have heard at least once. Um, missionary man. Don't mess with the missionary man. I'll probably, when I, when I hear the tune, when I go back and post and listen to it, I'll go, oh, I know what that is. But I don't know. I don't know if I. Sorry. No, it was good though because you. I'm convinced that in the four, first like four lines, I knew exactly what this is. <laughs> and now I'm not. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> mm, there's no apology necessary. This is gonna be fun to go back and listen to. I tell you what. This I thought maybe maybe I thought I got it in the first two lines because I wanted to beat you. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried now. Whatever I pick next week, you're gonna get in the first two syllables. I better not. Yeah, well, you're you're gonna make it too hard next week, and I'll come up short. What about um, like how far back are we going when we're talking about some of this music that that impressed upon us? Oh, like like whatever struck you is in your memory to the point of to de- still remembering it today. Like for for example, that Dream Academy Academy song for me, it's never really ever left me. I I had to have someone pointed out to me but uh you know it was always it's always it's always held a spot Mm. oh my favorite part of the show yay hello 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 Hello. Did they hang up? I hung up. Oh, all right. I, I was afraid they were going to say something. <laughs> I liked, um, uh, there, was, there was a Neil Diamond song, I believe, called Coming to America. Oh, yes. Do you know that yes. one? Yes. Coming yes, to America. America. Yeah, my, my parents had that record. I, I remember that song when I was really young, too. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Now we're, now we're on the train. Mm-hmm. Now it's starting to make sense here. Hmm. It's hard too because you you didn't have an older uh, sibling like I did. No, I d- I discovered everything on my own, right? Like once I got a hold of that radio, I I didn't really kind of ever give it back because the next you know after after having it in the the you know the the sheet forts that we'd make, I I just kind of held on to it and I have I put it in my room and at night I'd tune into a station and I, for example, I used to listen to. Some ongoing, well, I don't, I'm stealing other people's titles of their shows, but some ongoing history of the Beatles, like their entire mm. discography, every, they played every song, they, 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 they talked about all the happenings in between, all the albums and everything right on through for months and months I'd listened to this. And then I got into Dr. Ruth West mm. <laughs> late at night. <laughs> really? So you'd like get in your little sheet for it and listen to sex talk on the radio? That's right. <laughs> no, I did that in my own bed in my own bedroom mm. that night. Mm. That makes it worse, you know. Not really. Mm. My sister was not in my bedroom at night. <laughs> yeah, actually, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, that actually makes it a lot better. Yeah. Uh, I made a promise, not last episode, but two episodes ago, because I was getting really excited because that was another one of those guess the lyrics that you got it in like in, in two like consonants, basically. Mm-hmm. And we talked about the cult. And yes. It, it caught me all excited because it's sort of like I've been listening to a lot of ACDC lately, but I also love Ian Asbury as a singer. 
So uh, I thought I'd spin some cult tunes like I promised. Sweet. I knew. Oh, my God. What'd you pick? What'd you pick? You'll see. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced Hope it's chocolate. by means of tape recording. It's the best chocolate. of what's their faces. Hope it's chocolate. The best. The best. I'm going to get a little bit of wine to finish up the show, yeah? Okay. I'll be two seconds. Did they to, do a lot of, uh, were they in uh, concert pitch tuning, like regular tuning? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder. I wonder. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so there, I mean, <laughs> cult, 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 cult. I went out and I got right. like the all right. I went and got the the best of record today, and uh, I've been spinning it all darn day. So great, man! So great. See, I, I I can appreciate the best of records, but in this case, I'm specifically going to go out and download Electric and Sonic Temple, and uh, what's the first one? Mm -hmm. um, Electric was the first one, right? I don't know. See, this is the thing. I do it the other way around. I'll get the best of record. And it'll get me all inspired about the band, and then I'll start going back and getting the full records. Right, okay. Well, I, I want Electric and Sonic Temple for sure. I think there might be one other one before Electric, if I'm not wrong. It's, it's, yeah, it's not that I, I... And I'm with you, man. I think you take all the hits and you put them on a record. It's like you take all the great songs out of context, basically. Yeah, kind of. It's kinda. Like, it's but like at a, the same time, I'm, I'm a B-Sides kind of guy, too. There's a lot of stuff on... on uh, on the far on the back sides of records that I really like, you're not going to catch that on a, on a best of. Yeah, me too. But you know what I'm trying to do is I'm getting a little bit old, and and old people uh, forget about stuff a lot, <laughs> and it's the same with listeners because I forgot about the cult. So what it takes sometimes is you need like a little kick in the stones with a couple of the hit tunes to remind you about all the great B side stuff that they'd have out there. Sure. So that's that's sure. the thing. It's like I just when I play those kind of bands, I just I, it's like oh he, he played a couple of the hits, and it's like well yeah, but then you know, mm, come over and see my record collection. You'll see that I have a lot of the not hits. Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't judge us by the show, for God's sakes. Don't judge us. <laughs> just don't. Yeah, yeah. Just don't think about the. Um, we we got listeners too though that have, that have never really heard of the cult. There's possibility of that too. What speaking of our listeners, uh, are, how are how are they taking the not playing the music through the live? Since we you changed that up, I've got no. I don't. I don't know. I don't check the email anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so they either hate it or they love it. I don't know. Got any uh, our middle uh, names for me? Oh man, yeah. Bro. I took a class trip to the Coca Cola factory. I hope there's no pop quiz. Mm. <laughs> you are. You're becoming that old. You need a bench. You need a bench to sit on. <laughs> so instead of like getting up on stage and doing a routine, you just sit on stage on a bench and, bench. and people walk by I'm and like sit down. Like our first performance in front of an audience. You <laughs> and me on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> I think it's Richard. I think it's Richard. No, I really do. I think that you, you, I nailed it. You, I got it. And you're like, that's, that's it. Uh, I'm, I'm Googling now names that start with R. Broken pencils are pointless. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Dyslexic man walks into a bra. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably not Hebrew, right? It's not Rama. No, it's not, it's not Rabbi. Yeah, it's Ravi Shankar. Is it That's is it Russell? 
<laughs> is it Rad? Is it Rad? Is it Radcliffe? <laughs> is it uh, Negator? Radomir? Nope. Is it? Uh, it is. Is it? Is it Rafa? Mm-mm. Could it possibly be Raider? That's pretty cool, Raider. I kind of like that too. Raiders. No, that. Raiders pretty cool. We should have a baby. Call it Raider. Yeah, jokes Raider. about German sausage are the worst. <laughs> Is it Radford? No. We know it's not Reginald, because I want it to be. Nope. It can't be Riley, because that's too new. Hell no. Uh, it couldn't Fuck, be... Fuck, they didn't even have Ryan when I was a kid. How, huh? about, how about Rule? Rule. Raul. <laughs> no, no, Rule. R-U-E-L. Oh, really? No. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> what's, the, what's the name of the alien in Ghostbusters? Slimer? No. It's like, it's like, it's kind of like rule, but it's different. Do you know who I mean? Uh, which, which one? The, the, the action, the big ultimate demon who lived in the refrigerator and then possessed her. Oh, it was, uh, shit. I forget. I forget. Well, you've got a bad memory, Rockford. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. I wish it was that. How about Rodney? Is it Rodney? <laughs> nope. Roger gotta be roger nope you're kidding it's not roger nope all right is it ronald roger Dodd. is it ronald hmm? are you harold nope. ronald arcola <laughs> negatory mm, what about rudy yard <laughs> rudy yard rudy yard yeah it's right there the old english <laughs> no sir all right i I'm, I'm gonna stop and it looks like this is gonna go on for weeks <laughs> I hope it's chocolate. I hope it's chocolate. I chocolate. I started friending new people on Facebook that I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, people that are recommended to me. Oh, yes, in that list, that category? Yeah, people like, well, I, you know, I met a guy who's a pretty weird dude. And uh, he's, he spends a lot of time in, like, Burma and stuff. And he's, he sent me a bunch of, like, he said, like, you should get to know these folks. So I've started, like, you know, friending them. And they all talk to me a lot on Facebook now. Really? Yeah, there's people who talk to you a lot on Facebook, apparently. That's cool. Yeah, I got friends in, like, Indonesia and Burma and Cambodia and shit now. It's weird. Right on. Yeah. That's all right. Good. Getting uh, getting a little culture in your diet. I'm feel I'm feeling like going to Asia. You know what's that feel like? <laughs> uh, it feels kind of well. You would know better than I do, Rushford. <laughs> Negatory. Rushford's pretty good though. Is it Rupert? Is it Rupert? No, no. Did, okay, now did that? Oh, Gozer. Gozer. Gozer gozer that's gozer. pretty good but oh it's zool <laughs> zool yeah zool gozer oh. is what rick moranis becomes he becomes gozer okay and then uh sigourney weaver becomes zool zool zool, zool wants she was zool. hot in that movie it was the only movie she was hot in if you ask me no, I disagree. I totally disagree. Mm. I don't know what she did. Uh, she must have got some sort of plasticity yeah. uh, before uh, Galaxy Quest, but she was the hottest in Galaxy Quest. Do you know Ryan means little king? Does it? Yeah. It beats me. I guess. Rutledge. <laughs> Negatory. Oh, you, you don't have a middle name with R then. Rowan. I do too. Is it Rowan? Is it Rowan? Nope. Do you know how to spell? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is, it, is it Roper? Is it Roper? Nope. That's old English for nope. maker of rope. It'll be it'll be of Irish descent or possibly Scottish descent. I'm not sure which. So it's not Romeo. Nope. It's not Roland. Nope. So is it Robin? Nope. Oh, God, this is annoying. <laughs> this is really annoying. Jeez. Do you do this to everybody? No. <laughs> is, it, is it Rob? Is it just Rob? No. <laughs> How about Rourke? No, but I like that one. Rourke is really good. One of my favorite actors, too. Really? Uh, yeah. Ritter. 
Mm. How about Ryordan? That's Ryorda. Ryordan. Is that, like a, is that like a tube in your heart? It's the Irish or Gaelic, meaning the king's poet. Really? Yeah, because I could that, be Ryan uh, and you could be Ryordan. Nope. Oh, man. I don't like this game anymore. Rigel. You don't look, Oh, you give up too easy. Well, because I've gone through now 150, you know, names that start mm. with R. Yeah, right. I, I bet you haven't even broke 40. <laughs> I'm going to go back and listen to all these shows with like one of those baseball counter things. And just <laughs> start ticking off. Where do you, you buy them? mine. Do you have one? Do you have like a counter ticker thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do it when uh, when we were... Having big nights at the bar, right? I had to count how many people we had in the uh, bar. Where do you get something like that? Is there like a... Where do you get things Just, like that? Uh, probably... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say something, but it's not as funny as I think it is. <laughs> What's it like even... In, what was it like in the olden days when you needed something like that? You first have to know what it's even called to get one. Abacus. <laughs> <laughs> think about it, though. Like 50 years ago, yep. you need one of those hand counters... You know, you know, you, who knows what's that? How do you even look up what that's called? I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's a great question. I don't know what the fuck you call the thing. I, I, we just called it the counters. We had three or four of them at the bar, but I mean, it, yeah, I, I, I thought of that when I looked at the thing too. I'm like, where do you buy this fucking thing? Yeah. And what's <laughs> it even called? What aisles it in? <laughs> yeah. uh, Google's made Do it into stupid. your spoken, speak into your, uh, <laughs> your iPad. Yeah. Right. Good morning, Harry. <laughs> that little clicky good morning, Corey. Clicky thing. <laughs> ah, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> that was a weird show, that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but you, I'll you know. Grow, I'll... Go ahead, caller. Yeah, sorry. Uh, long time listener, first time caller. Um, what's <laughs> great about those shows, though, is sometimes when you put it together and you listen to it a couple of days later, it's like that's that's that was a great show. Okay, well, I'll know. take word on it. I'm <laughs> gonna drop those puns though. <laughs> Getting a little thin. <laughs> I'll put a sound effect after each one for you. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just now have to go back and find them all. I already got <laughs> too many damn markers as it is. Oh, uh, 